Work orders are the first step in any maintenance process, but if you're still relying on physical work orders, you run the risk of forms being misplaced or even something as simple as ink getting smudged that could lead to increased time away from the job for your vehicle. Obviously, we would love for you to start tracking and managing your work orders with our work order software, but we also realize that for some fleets, you just aren't ready for that yet. So we created a work order spreadsheet template that allows you to standardize your work order data and also create a log of your historical work orders for easy reference. You can find the link to download that in the video description below. Today, we'll talk through how you can get our template up and running and also some steps that you can take to customize it for your fleet. But before we get started, I wanted to remind you that we have a full library of free tools that should help you start tracking your fleet data. The link to that is also in the description below. All right, let's talk about work orders. When you open this up for the first time, you'll see that it's set to view only. Before you can start editing this document, you'll have to create your own copy by going to File and then select Make a Copy. Give it a unique name to your fleet, and if you plan on tracking a lot of work order data, it might be best to go ahead and categorize this spreadsheet more specifically with something such as year or if it's for one vehicle. We'll say that this spreadsheet covers all of our fleet's work orders for 2022. Click OK, and now you have your own work order spreadsheet. Easy enough. If you want to give somebody else on your team access to this document, Google Sheets makes that easy for you by selecting Share in the top right corner and entering their email address. You can also create a shareable link if that's your preference. At the bottom of the window, you'll see that there are a few sheets in this document already. I'll quickly walk you through these sheets and then we'll get into the weeds as to how they function. The first sheet you see when you open it up is our sample work order. We filled this one out just to give you an idea of what it looks like to input information into the document. Next is our work order log. This is your new file cabinet. It's where you can easily reference past work orders. And the last two sheets are blank work orders to help you start creating your own. First, let's walk through our sample work order to show you the information we've included and how you can customize it to your fleet. Starting on the left, you'll see that you can type out your vehicle ID. We've made this box a drop down in case you prefer to track your vehicles by VIN. We've included some standard fields for you to track internal people involved with this work order. And continuing down the page, you'll see some fields that allow you to track the vendor in charge of the work order, as well as their document numbers if you outsource your maintenance. If you keep your maintenance in-house, you could easily change this to keep track of which mechanic is on the job or something more relevant to your operation. Next, we have a large text field where you can type out the details of the request. If your request originated from a driver's pre-trip inspection, you can include the notes of what item failed inspection. And as a side note, if you're looking for a clean inspection form to standardize your pre-trip inspections, we also have that tool available in our free library that I mentioned earlier. That link is below. And now moving our way to the right column, you'll see some fields to provide more information around this specific work order, including your work order number, a drop-down box for the status as that changes, relevant dates, and odometer readings. We recommend gathering odometer readings as often as possible in order to make sure that your vehicles are sticking to their recommended preventive maintenance schedules. As you scroll down, you'll get into some of the specific work performed during this visit. We've broken it down into line items and included five to start. If you need to add more, just right click, insert one row above, copy and paste your formula in column H, and then highlight and merge these three cells. Make sure that you add it above and not below so that the formulas in the total section remain intact. If your sales tax is not 10%, you can change this cell to whatever is needed and it'll correct the calculations accordingly. If you scroll down further, you'll see that we have fields for parts, comments from the shop, and a field to show who approved the work order. If you need to add more parts to this list, it's the same process as above. Right click, insert one row above, merge these cells and you're good to go. If you complete a work order and want to print out a physical version, you know, to help your room full of file cabinets feel like it still has value, then you can go to file, print, and you'll see that this fits perfectly onto a sheet of paper. Now let's talk through how you create your own work order. I recommend that you leave your first sheet blank. You can use this as a template to copy moving forward. 
If you're going to do that, go ahead and adjust any field so that it best serves your fleet. And then you can even lock it by right clicking and selecting protect sheet. Now, whenever you want to create a new work order, you can right click on your template and select duplicate. Give your new sheet a name that your future self will appreciate. I'd recommend naming it based on the work order number or the vehicle number or both even. And while we're in this sheet menu, you can right click and further help yourself by using color codes to represent the status of a work order, like complete equals green, or you could even hide work orders that have been closed and are just cluttering up your taskbar. If you ever need to access a work order that has previously been hidden, you can select these lines on the left side of the screen, and it'll show a list of all your existing sheets in the document, even the hidden ones. I'm gonna go ahead and give this work order a number and a status because that'll help me show the next feature of this spreadsheet. Now that you've created your own work order, let me show you how to add it to the work order log. As I said, this is gonna save you from the insurmountable pain that comes with a paper cut received only by frantically searching a file cabinet for old maintenance records. And the best part is that you only have to enter the new work order name, everything else on this sheet will auto-populate itself. So type the name just as it appears in the sheet name in the next available cell. Notice that the work order number and status were automatically imported just from the sheet name. The other data was imported as well, but I haven't fully filled out the work order. So let's go back and assign a vehicle within the work order. And now let's go back to the work order log and notice that the information auto-populated. Whenever you change the status or add other information within the individual work orders, these fields will stay up to date. And if you wanna make your job even easier, you can right click on the sheet name, click insert link, and you'll see your new sheet right at the top. Select that, and now you can click right into your work order from the work order log. A file cabinet could never. This work order log is also sortable and searchable. As this list becomes more full, you can filter by any of these fields just by selecting this inverted pyramid. You can sort this list alphabetically, search for specific terms, or hide entries entirely. You can always reset any of these filters by choosing select all and then okay. Spreadsheets can be a great way to get better control of your work order data, but even the best spreadsheets can become overwhelming as you try to track more and more information. Plus, they only give you a limited view of the costs affecting your fleet. By managing your work orders with software, you can take this information and use it to find opportunities to cut costs and improve your fleet's bottom line. Fleetio's fleet management software can automatically create work orders from failed driver inspection items or even fault codes received by your telematics devices and then instantly begin the process to get your asset back on the road. Fleetio also allows you to use work orders to automatically adjust parts and inventory and immediately calculate a vehicle's cost of operation to see if it's more cost effective for you to replace it. When you're ready to take your work order tracking to the next level, we would be happy to walk you through Fleetio's features personally with a product demo or let you try it for free for 14 days. Just go to Fleetio.com for more information. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to get notified about new free tools or fleet management tips.